All right, guys, today we got a Samsung dryer. It's my neighbor's dryer. The problem is that the dryer doesn't stop unless you open the door, okay? And it won't heat up. It won't work with any other settings in the, on the dryer. If you end the code three, C as in Charlie, show up on the screen right here. You can turn it off by the settings, but it will still continue, keep going. And if you move it to a different cycle, it won't work at all. We tried to reset it, but disconnect and reconnect it already, and it won't work. But uh, see, when you open the door, it, it, it stops, right? But if you close the door, it keeps working, running, spinning, or whatever you wanna call it, and it won't work. It just, it just keep going, you know, all the time. So what I found out, if you have this problem, and if you want to fix it, you can fix it by replacing the control board, okay? The control board. And I'm going to show you where is the control board at, and how do you take them apart, and order the new one. You can order a used one, or maybe a new one for a hundred, yeah, a, a new one, uh, what I mean, on eBay or Amazon for like 150 bucks, 160, the, you know, depends um, which side you're going to, a variety of uh, the prices. And if you replace the, just the control board, it's just gonna work just perfectly again, okay? If you don't wanna spend more money on this one, if you do it yourself, is that what you're gonna spend it plus your time if you're a handy guy if not not even not even try to do it if you hire someone to do it for you they're gonna charge you at least mm, at least 400 bucks something like that around there 450 and then it's probably better if you get a new one the new one a new samsung dryer or any dryer you can get it for the cheapest one probably around from Lowe's or Home Depot around six seven hundred dollars and up okay so I'm gonna just show you I'm gonna take them apart real quick all it takes is a couple of screws in the back and then the top slice back out okay and then after that we just uh, gonna unplug the uh, connector from the control board the connectors and just replace it if, if, you, if you don't want to deal with all this be careful because it's sharpening all around the edges okay so use gloves please and do not do whatever I say so because this is just entertainment video purposes okay I'm just trying to help him my neighbor and they say they just rather to get a new one okay so but I told them you know just let me take them apart and show you what which one is the part and type it in on Google and see you know what's the what's the price on these control boards and they say okay just go ahead and do it you know just make your video so that what tr I'm trying to share the video with you guys about this one and it's because I know I watch another video that they show what's wrong with this control board and it's one of these relays right here the black ones okay i'm gonna show you how they look inside and then uh what's the problem because one of the contacts it gets stuck that's why it keeps the uh spinning the dry all the time and it won't let the other settings works at all or even the heat okay so the heat it won't work the other settings won't work unless you replace the control board because one of the relays so maybe both relays are bad they just got uh, stuck in one setting that's why it just keep spinning all the time the reason it stops when you open the door is because the door it kills the um the electricity that going to the control board okay that's the, that was the only reason or oh, to the motor 
Is that what you mean? I think so. I don't know. I'm just guessing, thinking, you know. I'm not a professional, not even a student. I just do help my neighbors here to find out, figure it out what's the best way for them or tell them about what the problem is by watching other videos, of course, you know, because from the professionals, some, uh, some of them out there are professionals, some out there, they just be curious guys, you know, like me, try to fix stuff of your own. But be careful, don't do it on your own. Don't do whatever I say, so it's a disclaimer video. Don't do anything. This is the uh, uh, solenoid, I mean, uh, relay, something like that. That's, I try to hit it, so. But I'm gonna open it up the best I could so you guys can see what was I talking about, okay? And be careful, like I said, don't do whatever. I'm just doing this for entertainment purposes. And excuse my accent, my English. I'm been learning and I guess I'm too old to keep learning the best pronunciation. But yeah, I try, I try my best. I think not, not strong enough, but you know, hard enough. But I just trying to share my thoughts, okay? Be careful, you can cut yourself, so don't, don't do it this way. I will just have my fucking knife here, but here are the contents what I was talking about. They got stuck so the dryer won't work. See, right here, the little metal things right there. This is like a relay, something like, yeah, it's a relay, like in the cars, you know. You can replace them if you know how to soldering and unsoldering, but that will be too much. Bueno, for the people that doesn't know anything about it, okay. For the people who knows, you know, they, they probably can do it. All right, so that's it, guys. I'm just gonna show you what was the problem right here. You know, with these contacts, that nothing, it won't work at all anymore. Okay, if you wanna fix your dryer on, you know, this is it, the beginning. See the contacts right there. So I'll let you guys decide if you wanna just prefer buy a new one or another used one. And uh, this dryer is already like seven years old so i think you know it's fair enough you know for parts that went out all right we'll see you next time hasta la vista replace the control board if you want the dryer back to life again hasta la vista amigos